Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of The Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. I'm Jeffrey. I'm Keith. And the rest of you are very welcome to be here with us today. And whoever that is calling Keith is in big, big trouble. Is that Sid? It was my doctor. Oh, okay. I put him on hold. Oh, good. I'm trying to make a couple of points. What if it's but... really important? Jeez. I don't have a digest, so, you know, no. we'll, uh, we'll make it. But the rest of you, like I was saying, are very welcome. We're happy to have you with us today. Um, we're going to have a little bit of a brief show today. Keith's a very popular person. Only because it's a doctor. You know... <laughs> Not, <laughs> not moments ago, you were like, and volume off, and turn all of this, and... and didn't forget the ringer. <laughs> didn't change the ringer. Super professional. I better, maybe I better go change that. Welcome to Mud Buddy. <laughs> uh, very good. So, we're happy to be here. We are, we've got just a, a small show for you today. Um, we are here in my office. This is just feet from where I sit every day, all day. You're probably two two feet. Yeah, except for except for those fun days when we get to be out, which is not today. Not today. It's not today. Cool. No, we're just here in the office today. Weather's a little crappy. There's a thunderstorm system coming yeah, through. Thunderstorm so rolling in. The weather's the weather's not cooperating today. Kind of like our guys. I don't. I was just gonna from, say that from catch and release yesterday. They were moaning and whining. They couldn't moaning go fishing. Moaning and groaning. They didn't get to go out. I yeah. know. But uh, it's it's all good. I do have a couple of things that I am going to share with everybody a little bit later. Um, but right now, um, before we get started, while everybody's jumping on, Keith, tell me about your week. Uh, it's been a busy week. Yeah. You know, people are uh, getting ready to switch over from the fishing scene and slowly rolling over to yeah. the duck boat. I mean, it's still 100 degrees outside, but uh, we know that the early teal season's coming up pretty quick. So yes. I'm sure here down in the next what, week or two, we'll start rolling into... Uh, preventative maintenance and all the stuff that you need to do so when it's time to chase that birdie around the timber the marsh or wherever you shoot you will be ready to rock and roll will be ready i myself have been working on several tools and and things that will be very helpful for all of us did you get your in jacket, the little bit jacket you ordered i did did it oh, yeah in oh. fact i forgot i forgot to bring it in i was going to bring it in on uh on monday it was there monday when i or I mean Sunday when Sunday I morning. when I got back from camping I was I was camping. That's my news. That's right. you I was camping. I was actually camping this last weekend and had a blast. Other than the fact that it rained, so it would have been nice to have that jacket. Half, half the time we were there, I'm seriously, it was <laughs> like a hundred degrees in the valley and sixty <laughs> up on the mountain. So and rainy. Yeah, you so were. it was it was uh, kind of cold and, and wet, but we did have a lot of fun. Cut some fish and uh, you know I. Uh, Here's the real trick. This is what it is. And you can all laugh at me, it's okay. I, I deserve it after this little awesome. But I was just like, I am gonna do this right. Cause it's, we're car camping, right? right. We're, not, we're not roughing it at all. It is an attempt to be as comfortable as you can. And I, being the genius that I am, was like, I'm taking my queen blow up mattress. And this isn't like a tent queen blow up mattress, but like a house, house queen, queen blow up mattress. 24 that is, inches. Yeah, that is really <laughs> thick. And I was very excited. I checked all of the specs on my little three man tent and it would, it's like, it will fit just barely like it is. I, I planned it all out and I was very excited. I get up there, blow it up. And it's just wonderful for about three hours that night. And then I woke up like a, like a taco. <laughs> in that mattress as if when flat there's a hole in it somewhere. Is there? Yes. Or is it just because it was so cold? Well, that's what air. I thought. That's what I thought the first night. So I was like, oh, we're going <laughs> to fill it up. We're going to fill it up real good and tight. And no, it, it had a little hole in it. Oh, so, uh, did you throw it away? Or you yeah, no, it? no, I threw it away. I, I don't like, like I'm not. I'm not interested in no. fixing that at all. So the last night I just deflated it and borrowed somebody's little thin pad and was even more comfortable that way because... <laughs> You know, I could move around. I mean, it, it literally filled up every square inch of that tent. So there's nowhere to there's nowhere to put your feet or anything. You have to crawl on it. And if it's it bouncy, I have my little dog with me, and every time I'd move, he would <laughs> jump up and down. It was very uncomfortable, and I will never do that again. So it has taught me that I just need to go. I need I, next time I need a bigger tent, and I need a uh, like a, a cot. Well, if you really need to borrow a bigger tent, tent, I will I will float you a bigger tent. You float me a bigger and tent have, and have some cots. <laughs> you cots and cots. I have some single mattresses too because. I buy the cheap single ones for all my girls when they were home. Right. Most of them moved out over the years. If it gets a hole in it, it goes in the garbage. It goes in the garbage. I don't I jerk around. I mean, yes. No, I'm trash. Like, get, get rid of it and start over <laughs> I again. Will cut, 
I will cut holes in it <laughs> so when I get home, I remember this yeah. thing needs to go to the trash. Yes, absolutely. But it was a lot of fun. I had a big old blast. Unfortunately, I don't get out very often, so this is kind of our family's big camping weekend of the year. But I've got to find times to get out others because I really do enjoy it. Oh, yeah. it's, it is great to get. Oh, you know, it's beautiful to get up in the oh, mountains it's around so here. Oh, nice. You know, we're going up. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm leaving here as soon as we're done today, heading to Island Park, Idaho, for the weekend yes. with the family. I got my wife, my five girls, <laughs> three son-in-laws. Are you sure you want to say that out loud, everybody? You'll know where he's going to be. Just yeah. go, and, go and find Keith. Go and find Keith. He'll be up there somewhere. <laughs> Floating the river yes. over to Yellowstone, and we're going to go do a little uh, clay pigeon practicing with family. Oh, yeah. My girls love to shoot. It's going to be an expensive weekend for Pops. <laughs> I'm going to have to hit the Walmart and Good. get uh, probably about four or 500 rounds of uh, cheap lead ammo. Cheap lead and ammo, yeah. Uh, Absolutely. It's cutting into my duck fund. That's all right. It's for the family. It's, it's a good cause. Yes. Yeah. I think That's I have cool. everything I need for the duck. Good. The duck. I, I'm, yeah. I think I'm ready there. You think you're ready there? Yeah. One thing we did do is we went out carp shooting over the weekend, Saturday. Did you? Really bad. Those, lo <laughs> those local guys, the local Utah guys, the spur, it's empty. That water is shallow. Yeah. But uh, we saw five and uh, we got one. It was you got one. No, well, I, you I, didn't get one because I, you and I, yes. we know, are the worst. I think I've shot 100 times plus <sighs> and I'm still... Oh, for a minute. I'm, <laughs> we, I'm, a, we I'm a great mud air raider. Yeah, so that maybe will be our next year goal is just to get one. You remember like the first time we went out, we were like, oh, let's do a competition and we'll see who can get the most. Maybe next year we'll just shoot for one. That will be the whole year's <laughs> goal is to get one. <laughs> just to get, we can still go. There's still Pro Bowl, Utah Lake still got some water. Yeah. We, got, we have a honey hole down there that we know about. We, we, could, we, we could try that one more time. We could try that one more time. I don't know. It's maybe just so the, hot. Maybe the, end of, maybe the end of August. Maybe I, it'll, yeah, there you go. Maybe when it goes down, either that or we just need to get, we need to get a, like a mini top or something for the summer <laughs> because it is just brutal out there. It was a little warm when Saturday. We're out this time of day, man. Swelter is too much. Well, then, you know, when we were out two weeks ago, or what was it last week when we caught all those fish? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was wonderful. Oh, that was Man, crazy. it was hot. It was so hot. <laughs> no, I, you know, everybody's like, oh, yeah, no, it's so great. And they, which, I was I was so sad because we we signed off right we we had already caught some and I was like no they don't want to sit here and watch what if we don't catch anything else be so boring for everybody out there watching and we caught fish after fish we were just rolling them in and we ended up eleven for me and nine for you that was no, like, no 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 was, was that what I did I thought I it was ten and eight oh ten and eight whatever ten and eight no no, no I think you were right. whatever but actually right. I think you were right that was I think amazing it was eleven cause I, I caught right. one Jeff caught one I caught one Jeff caught one it was just like man I, Jeff could never just I know, I could never up. catch up. I'd catch one and be like, all right, I'm only down one. And then he'd pull in another. It happened over and over. It was really, really it was fun. A lot and then of fun. I left and headed to another marina right after we left that one. And I continued to catch. I had my nephews there and we caught a I, bunch more. I think we left a, a really cool part out <laughs> the boat ramp on the 24th of July. All the people who oh my gosh. have just taken their stuff out for the first time this year, the jet skis have went and run. The starter floor that you could smell, <laughs> the guy with the oh, pontoon man. boat yes. who couldn't get his oh, boat on. It was, we sat in the water, it was like 30 minutes I sat in yes. the water with a boat waiting for you to be able to back up into a spot where we could. Well, I don't I don't like to talk bad about it because, you know, I haven't been doing this a long no, time. But I'm bad at backing no. sometimes, things like that. Something always happens and you're always nervous and so you hate to say, you know, to be that guy that's yelling at everybody, but what a trip. That was, it was just fun sitting out there in the boat, just like, you just need see, a, an umbrella to get out of the shade yeah. or something. No, and just see here, and we should have had the drone up there flying oh, around. Oh, yes. We should have got some that would have been classic incredible. footage. Because Watching was, people try and straighten out, and that poor guy with that giant pontoon. I think it was his first trip, because he had no idea. No idea. And no he idea. did not get out of the way. He was not, not going to move. He had half the ramp. In. And what, what I noticed on this, he had those little half, half little waders on, you know, that yes. you run around your belt loops. <laughs> yes. But his, his, his shirt was wet up to his shoulder blade, so I'm oh. thinking his waders were full of water, too. So it was kind of comical, but oh, and again, gosh, it was frustrating because you needed to get somewhere. I needed to get I home. I know we were rushing. Because I, I, I wanted to, 
then I don't know anything about those big pontoon boats. So I was, I was be like, can I help in some way? But I right. would have been more of a hindrance, I'm sure. And we were really trying to get out of there quick. Yeah, it was, it was, it was funny was but like, frustrating. <laughs> trying to kick it off the trailer, this monstrous pontoon. It was amazing. Yes, I forgot about that. that really was a treat. Um, yes, that, that, that was the... Which, for those of you who don't know, 24th of July, last Wednesday, is a is one of Utah's biggest holidays. It's, it's a, just a Utah holiday, so yes. there are a lot of people out on the boat. It was very, very crowded. And I think a lot of people, it was the first time with their equipment yes. out on the lake this yeah. year. Oh, for sure. Because I... Oh, yeah, that guy with the three the three jet skis. And every time you see jet skis, you're like, well, we're going to be here for an hour. Yeah, exactly. But he had three of them and couldn't start any one of them. Yeah, was, was, all you could smell was two-stroke... And stinker <laughs> and uh, oh, ether for starting fluid and those things. I was like, really, you guys? You're supposed to do all this? Like maybe, yeah, maybe get you that know, going beforehand. We we don't want to be the guys that everybody else is laughing at. So we're a, when we yes. call in, oh, we are ready to make sure that we've got it because I don't want to be that guy. Although I, uh, you know, I, I just said something mean about the jet skis. I don't mean to be mean about jet skis. Uh, because when I left, I went over for the first time. I rode some jet skis, and they were an absolute blast. So, they were fun. And and my people who were putting them in, they were very fast. They, I mean, they were prepared. Well, they, yeah, they so. were prepared. These guys, they didn't spend any prep time <laughs> getting their their stuff ready to go. So the moral of that story being: Be send me <laughs> send me your best stories of being well, on a boat ramp because I love them. It's fun, they but it's also fr so frustrating oh. when you're. Trying to get in or yes. get out, uh, it's just and it's it's nerve wracking too because you yes. don't want to be that guy. But well, you when know, you, sometimes you just miss it and it's all right. You, you stuck that little bitty trailer between that big pontoon oh, boat yeah. and that big whatever that barge oh, that other yeah. guy had. I think no, of myself. I, I jammed that right in there, and then he brought that bread boat in all crooked. And was oh, like, well, crooked never and sideways. Mind. I'm just I called Jeff and just said, hey, when the guy in the red on the right pulls up a little bit, yeah, I'll come fly in there. But until in. then. Yeah. I'm not going to get squeezed like a bug. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> so, yeah. um, very good. Um, but back to the jacket, though, because it is yes. important to me. Yes, I do. Like, that's my first you, big that's your purchase. Of nice the Drake. Year. Oh, yeah. It was a nice Drake jacket. No, no, they had a great sale. Yes, they did. Um, was it I don't on know that, if it's um, still going, but... It's, was it on that their website where that... Yes. Uh, so that's that 24-hour day. It's the pit, yeah. yeah. So it's, a, it's just a 24-hour right. sale that they change every day yeah 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 and it's a three-quarter zip which i really like it's got kind of that looser right up front yeah. for the it's the equator jacket oh yeah it's a nice one no it is nice it is heavy and it's gonna be really good yes it'll okay. be way better than I, what you I, had last year I, I, oh man <laughs> you might be a little warmer luckily nobody none of you really saw me that much last year because i was always holding the camera right but we got it. We, no, got, now some, I'm, we got him some better waders than last year. We got a new jacket. We got we're, a new jacket. We're slow. Maybe that's working. why we didn't shoot that many birds. Well, I don't know that in the season, but I was like, maybe it's my fault in my solid green jacket that I can never. But you know, so this year we're we're getting prepared. Uh, should we do some shout outs? Yeah, I think there's some. I can't really tell though. You can't read it. You know no. what's going. Oh, we got Andy Johnston on. Hey, Andy, the boat doctor. doctor. What's up, Andy? Harahan, Louisiana. <laughs> we got Sid watching, which is good. Sid, did Sid ever forgive you for your shout out last week? No, he called us goobers again. <laughs> That's okay. Maybe, That's all right. maybe we deserve it. I don't know. That's I don't probably know. true. Oh, yeah, he said it again. But his, 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 yeah, his wife go. makes one of the meanest banana breads I've ever tasted in my life. You know, that is all just speculation. No, because they have not said in that is your word versus everybody well, else out if, here. If you we went, don't, because we're just waiting to test. If and you how ask, are we supposed to know? If you ask Clint, Dave, <laughs> Glenn Foreman, Andy Johnson, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll tell you that that is some mean banana bread. And Andy some Johnson mean. makes some mean, <laughs> some mean uh, Cajun food down there, too. Awesome. All right, um... Uh, we got Andrew Quintana on. He says, what's up, guys? When are you coming to Sodak? Um, when when, when I, we have a budget. When I have a budget, when I can afford it, I am getting out there. We, I would love to. We've got so many places that we want to be. We were oh, just, it we would were be just, so we, awesome. We were just, I was just invited, but I'm sure we could get you along. One of our uh, customers who has a long tail in um, Maryland. Oh, yeah? And he's like, hey, come on out. We'll hook you up. <laughs> he said he'll take us out and... Uh, We'll shoot black ducks. Oh, very nice. I'm like, probably not going to happen this year. No, probably not this year. You know, um, but please keep us in mind. Yes. You know, we we want to go. We love the invites. We uh, and our we're we're there in spirit with you guys for sure. Um, Matt Cole, um, Mitten Mayhem went great. Guys, all six flags went to great use. 
People loved the hats and shirts. And the big winner, the big blade, was Giles. Is that Giles? Giles Thomas, I believe. Um, that's so awesome, Matt. I'm glad that went well. I'm glad all of the the flags and stuff happened. That's that is awesome. Great I, to support. I love it. Support Matt and his group yes. of guys out there. And yeah, yeah they, and Minnesota or Michigan? I can't remember. Ah, it was Michigan. Matt, Michigan. remind me. I think, I think it's Michigan. Michigan. I think Matt's out in Michigan. Uh, last year we raised two thousand. This year over thirty five hundred. Thanks for the sponsorship, my buddy. Fan freaking tastic. Yep, that was good. I love that. Everybody out there, continue to support, support them. They're really, they're really, really great. Oh, and there's Charles right there. Matt Cole, I plan on putting him to good use. Awesome. Love that. Love you guys. Yes. You put that big blade to good <laughs> yes, use. Yes, put it to good use, and I want pictures. That's, yes. that's all I ever want. We, we need life. your photos, guys. It's just pictures. If you yes. send them to us, that gives us permission to use them, so <laughs> yeah. know that. If just, you no, if you send it to me, I'm going to use it. Yes, because <laughs> I, I love to put those up. And you guys are like, like good. This is what I have learned about duck hunters, is that they're good shooters, mm -hmm. whether it's with a gun or a or camera. But, but they also see things in a way that, you know, I, I rarely am up that early in the day. <laughs> and <laughs> Unless I'm out on a duck hunt. Yeah. But, I mean, I'll, hopefully the rest of you are too. But you get out there and you see... Some things, yes, you know, and the like way the they scenery. arrange their birds oh, and, and the just, scenery, and and they get they get some of the coolest pictures. Yes, you all get some of the coolest pictures, and I want to see them. So you know, keep those coming. I love it. Um, Rick Hillicoss is on. What's up, Rick? He says the most important piece of equipment is a good warm jacket. So true, my friend. So true. Yes, I mean, especially like in a duck blind when you're just sitting, sitting there. there, you're not moving or anything. It gets cold. It gets cold, man. <laughs> it gets it gets cold. Yeah, the aluminum's hot during the summer and cold during the winter. <laughs> yeah, we never we never seem to be just right. No, you know? it's, no it's, never. It's, a, it's a life of extremes out on the water. Yes. That's what it is. Uh, okay, Casey Brady is on. Uh, I'm a big fan of Casey. Um, any of his questions, he's so great. He's got a question more for you. Uh-oh. Um, he says, hey guys, this is more for Keith, but what is the best way to tune the dual carbs on the 6000 HD? Call him Ricky. Oh. No, actually. <laughs> really? I don't think so. Do you think so? Um, they're a little bit difficult. You kind of want to get the motor running, get it warm, pull off one of the spark plugs, get it to idle about 800 RPM, put the other one on, pull the other one off. So it kind of syncs them together. So they're both running about 800 RPM. And then make sure after you get that set and shut it off, pull the air filters off the front. And when you're pulling the throttle, make sure that the slides are moving and topping out evenly, not one higher or lower than the other, because that's that's critical. It right. really messes up with your fuel flow, so you're getting one more fuel in one cylinder than the other. So it just takes a little practice, you know. Um, yeah, it's a little Very practice. Nice. Yeah, sure. If you need a little more info, give us a call or on the phone. We can walk you through it. But yeah, usually just doing the spark plug one at a time and getting it 800, and then doing the other side at 800 RPM usually right. works out pretty good. Yes, good. Good, Casey, hope that answered your question. If it didn't, if you need more help, you can talk to um, either Keith or, or Ricky, but I have something to say about this. Uh-oh. So as you know, as you all probably know, I, I tease that I'm like working on something. What are you working on? <laughs> I always have like big news that is coming <laughs> in the future. And we always say it's coming, and I hate, I'm not gonna say it's coming anymore. Because <laughs> I know, it never I know, comes. but like I am, Beyond close to that. and part of the project has gone live already. It happened. Oh yes, I know where you're going. <laughs> it happened. It happened yesterday. Yes. Some new thing happened yesterday that I am very excited about. Keith is a little less excited, but you should all be very excited. Let me tell you what has happened. What's happened? We have a brand new chat bot on our website right now. If you go to mudbuddymotors.com in the right hand corner in the bottom, there's a little says chat right there. Sometimes it'll put a little box. If you if it's your first time, it'll put a box out. It's like, oh, do you need some help? But yes. after a while, that goes away. But there's just a little box down at the bottom. You click that, and it'll bring up a little chat. You can type in, and Keith or Ricky will respond to you. It's the fastest way to get a hold of Keith and Ricky. It's right on there it right now. You can ask, be the fastest way, though. You can ask any question. You don't have to call. All you have to do is type in any of your questions, <laughs> um, and, and they will get back to you. <clears throat> Um, so that's, but I need somebody to <laughs> tell me how to use the system. I, all you have to do is type in 
I it's just a, it's just a chat box. It's yeah, just, it's with all really these cool tickets. It, and it does have it. Is, there is some cool features. There's going to be some training. We will be using yes in the future. There will be really. some training uh, come Monday when I get back from my trip. And I'm pretty sure that Ricky might have a better handle on this than, yeah, than so you too. do. So you you may end up more with Ricky than Keith the, these the days. The next two days it will definitely it will be definitely more. be Ricky because you're headed out of town. Yes, I am. So I you know what? I already signed off. You Oof, already signed off. So I'm almost signed out completely. But that is also going to be a feature on what's coming up a little bit later next, um, week. next week. But uh, but right now, you can actually use that. So if you have questions like uh, Casey, if that wasn't enough for you, uh, just log into that chat. And one of these guys are, are going to be able to help you out. I am so forward, looking forward <laughs> to this, really. More technical stuff. More technical stuff. You just got the phone dialed in and the you email. Just, you just barely learned how to use a phone. I yes. know. You finally got all the all the phone numbers memorized and everything. <laughs> I almost gave the wrong phone number to somebody. <laughs> I almost gave out my cell phone number instead of my work number today. Um, <laughs> good. <clears throat> all right. Um, Keith Snow from Team Keith. Hey, Team Keith. Which, where is Team Jeff? Man. This is like a, they're this all is like on, the first time. They're all on vacation. You know, no, they're all summer's like, oh, really rolling now. My oh. my wife goes to work in three weeks. Back to school, man. Crazy. I know. It's August tomorrow. I know. And I'll be gone. And you'll be gone. Um, but uh, Matt Cole, yes, Michigan. We were right. Michigan. Yeah, Matt's out in, in in Michigan. We got Amanda Barnum watching. That's my oldest daughter. She's going camping with the family. Ah, yes, very good. Um, Keith did ask though. Um, hey guys, y'all make T-shirts with the print on the back. You know, right now, Keith. <laughs> Keith, just just put it on backwards. Just put it on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> um, right now, I don't. Every shirt that we have made is printed on the front side. Yes. But I appreciate that. I'm gonna. We're gonna send you one with the one on the front. Because yes, I will send you one with one on the front if you want. If you want, you can cut the um, neckline a little lower out of the back and, and just it uh, just to wear it backwards. But uh, no, Keith, I I currently do not have one. Um, we are looking at doing a new run of shirts here, probably about mid duck season. Is about when we'll probably. Push them out. Uh -huh, kind of start pushing those for the for the end of the year. So Keith, PM us, PM us. Yes. Yeah, so Keith, your. this is for you. This shirt right here. So uh, PM me on this this uh, this. What do, what do we call this? This video. This video. This. We uh, need your post. name, address, and information, and also what size. Yes, and I'm gonna write it down. Look, I have my trusty notepad right yeah, you here. Left so it. I you can... left it. You left it in your office last week. Did, but luckily Ricky sent me everybody's info. Yes, that was nice. Got those out. Um, Keith Snow. My buddy Gray shirt HDR. See, uh, we're so organized here. Fantastic. All right, so that was from Keith. Um, Casey says, "Can I just bring it into you guys?" Ah. Yes, you can. <laughs> but not right now, because Keith won't be here. Yeah, not not, right not the rest of this week. But uh, next week, sometime we'll squeeze it in. It's getting to the point where. <laughs> The shop's getting busier, and all of our tech guys are are getting busier, so it's really getting harder to bring stuff yes. in. You can also, uh, the guys down at Backwater Performance, they do a lot of um, tune-ups and repairs, so you can hit them up also. But Casey, yeah, give me a call Monday. We'll, yeah. we'll squeeze you in. Yes, awesome. Um, TJ Owings said, while I was going on about what, I'm, what I've always got coming, he says, let me guess, a cook stove bracket. <laughs> hey, you know what? We're wait, what are we? We're waiting on that flat piece that slides into the black. No, piece. that is not what we're waiting for. We are waiting for other pieces, like I the can, actual aluminum to build the the rest of the bracket. The slide pieces we have. It's oh, just, I, you know, I can. I've got material if he wants to buy well, you, one. You get you get several made. Everybody, start bugging Ricky, Keith about actually getting some of those made. And we need, we'll, to, we need and some we'll, of we'll those uh, we'll seven some inch square tube. Um, brackets for the but, bottom of the stove. But, T, but TJ, I have a brown hat for you though, TJ, on that, because that's a good guess. But that isn't what I was talking about. Um, what kind of brown I, hat? Um, the, the, the brown one. Like my nice new, one. My new favorite. I like hey, those show hats. me one of them digi ones. <sighs> you want a digi one? Yeah, give me All a right. nice digi one. Them things are, we gotta, you know, they're, they're, just, they're flying off the shelf. I know. Mm -hmm. okay. I just lost my... Oh, there we are. We just okay. lost your page? This is for TJ Owens. TJ? TJ only. We're going with the Mud Buddy HDR Digi Hat. So make sure you put your, your PM in the uh, box. Get Jeff your name and address. We don't care about the size. And we'll get that off to you. Okay. Great. 
Okay, very good. Let's see. Um, Amanda Barnum. Keith will have the slowest responses time. Response time. She's talking about the uh, chat bot. Oh, did, did, she knows me. <laughs> I'm not. I am not. No, well, that's not good to say. Keith, I need you to have good response time. We want, we want you all to be responded to right away. That's I the try. goal. Yeah, I, oh, I can do it. it just if, if it all makes sense to them. My kids are used to the way that I, I text because... I know what I'm saying, and they know what I'm saying, but if I send it to anybody else, they don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, Rick Helicos also seconds the uh, design on the back of the shirt. I agree. I like the like a kind of more on the back. Do you? Maybe just like maybe like MB, a small MB for life or something on the front, and then a big. That's a great idea. Local, local, local. Look at you. What are decal you on the back. What are you? Our new designer. I designed some pretty nice shirts a while back. You, you do some design work. I'm gonna go help the customers, and we'll switch it up for the next little while. Okay, no, I need some help. I didn't really do the design work. Uh, I just told the guy what I, what I liked. Yes, they used to work here, and he designed the shirts. Got it. Yeah. So no. I, um, Casey I says. This. Casey says thanks. Rick Hillcoss, do you recommend putting runners on your boats for running back cuts and loggy water? What does he mean by? You runners? know, I yeah, I am not sure. Um, um, pods maybe. I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't uh, Rick, know I need a little more on that. Yeah. Um, and that, I may push that off to Dave, Dave. or uh, one of our other experts. On I, that. We don't run that I, stuff here. I have yeah, no I, idea. I'm really not sure so on that, Rick. The, the Dale, who I ran with in Arkansas, um, he doesn't have anything like that on his boat. Uh -uh. It's just and, fast. And I know Freddie also doesn't run anything, run anything like, like that, that yeah. on his. I know he's running a lot of stumps. Yeah, I know. Probably uh, Jay Paul, because. We've seen uh, some of the stuff and heard some of the stuff he's done with, <laughs> with his boat is with logs and trees and yes. stumps. Yes. So, Rick, um, hit me up with a little more info on that, and we'll, we'll get you a really good answer on that. All right, I have one more thing to give away and to talk about. Your pretzels? No. I'm talking about my pretzels. It's my, like, my lunch. I have this. Look at this bad boy. That's a shiny stainless this, steel. This is a new stainless steel. Here, I'll let you hold that so you can be watching for all the people's oohs and ahs and to make sure that people can actually see it. This just came back from the shop. This is our newest, latest, and greatest cup holder for our boats. And it'll fit in the T-rail system? Yes, it goes in the T-rail. It's got the two knobs. I don't have any knobs with me right now. Um, but yeah, it just fits in there. Um, and that went live on the site about an hour ago. So you've been busy today. I have been busy today. You can uh, go on and purchase those right now. They are really awesome, but I am going to give one of these away. What's the uh, retail price? <laughs> you just put it on the system. I seriously just wrote it in there, but I don't remember. You don't remember. You'll have to go on and look. Won't that be special? Um, I will post a link to it here in the in the description here in just a moment. But I really do love it. I think it's really cool. Um, it's got that XL. Which you know I'm promoting XL even though we're my buddy, but I am. But it's got XL cut out of it. It's really nice, strong. It's got the perfect angle, so it will sit flat when put into the T-rail. Casey what? Brady. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Casey, I, like, I, like, I think this might have to be yours. Then I'm gonna see if anybody else. Then, Does uh, anybody else really want it more than Casey? Because I'm not sure anybody. Our buddy does. Micah is watching also with this. Um, Micah. Andrew, I'm, I can't see what is Andrew's right here. What's Andrew his? Hagen. He just got his 2020 Excel 1854 with a 40 HDR Mud Buddy on Saturday. Ooh. You know what? I think Andrew needs that for All his right. new boat. You think Andrew needs I, that for his new boat? Okay, we're going to give that to Andrew. All right, Andrew. Andrew. This is yours. It comes with this plus the two uh, T-bolts will come yes. with it so you can actually install it. But uh, yeah, Andrew, that is yours. Andrew, PM us your information and we will get that out to you. I think that's gonna be a little hot seller. I think I even mentioned something else that we might look into doing. What's that? You know, the, uh, I know some of the, uh, the other people out there make them, but a shell holder to oh, tie yeah. in that. Yeah, yeah. Yep. No, that's a really good idea. We're doing good, Micah, how are you? Hope you're busy. Micah, long time to talk to you, my friend. Keith Snow PM'd us already, said thanks, guys. Oh, good, good, yes. good, good. Great, so that was it, but this is, yeah, I think this will be a hot seller, I really, I really like it. I have one out on the boat. I can you, take, that I can take you a get a camel? Picture. And I may not, uh, you know, take it off the boat. Can you camel it? I don't, can no, we paint it? No, I mean, we can maybe paint ours, but not for, not for these. They can paint their own. They'll have to paint their own. But no, unfortunately, this is a, this is an an as an as is item. An as is. Uh -huh. 
We have a bunch of them in stock. We do. Cool. Whole bunch. Yes. So Sid. these are really awesome. They make great gifts. Our great friend Sid from Florida at Fast Track Motors. Uh huh. $22.98. There it is. Thanks, See? Sid, appreciate it. So fast. He knows how to operate websites. Yes, he does. What's your problem, Keith? He obviously <laughs> has more time than I do. Oh. Is that so? No, Sid, probably how you, not. How do you feel about that? Somehow I don't think Sid. that's true. Sid's As probably we... up. It's 5.30 where Sid lives in Florida. Oh, yeah. Well, he's probably still he's working. Probably still working. TJ Owens, he uh, sent give... you a message. Good. Great. I said thanks a lot, guys. You're Perfect. welcome. You are welcome. We love to get free stuff away. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I'm thinking one of these days. We've got to we gotta cut loose of this. I, I've got several of these. I, I'll give one away. If somebody really wants them, listen, I will give one of these away to the net, to the best picture that shows up in my uh, on my Facebook inbox. Just send a message. You know, when you go into Facebook and you look and it brings up that little chat, you can put it there. You can post that on this. You can post it anywhere. If I find a really, really great picture, best one I find next week, before next Wednesday, before I'll next give Wednesday, one of these. We can give it away on Wednesday. I'll give it away on Wednesday. And it's really cool, guys. It's got magnets on the back, so... You can hang that thing anywhere you want. Actually, it doesn't have magnets on the back. It has something better. Because the magnets are a little heavy. Originally, we were going to do magnets, but it, it's actually got sticky Velcro. Oh, sticky Velcro. Because these are really light. These are foam core, so it's really light. And it's just got these big, these little uh, four spots of like sticky Velcro. Kind of like uh, command strips. It's, it's like that, basically. But you can hang it anywhere, and it's really awesome. But yes, picture. Best picture. I'll send, I'll send one of those out, no problem. Sid wants one of those for telling you the price. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> and then uh, Rick said, Keith, you could put the Mud Buddy logo on the back and small shallow water on the front. We could. Hey, Rick, that's a good idea. I like it. We'll have to run that by some buddy higher up <laughs> the food chain than we are. Actually, if it had XL on it, then we'd, we'd get in trouble by the catch and release boys because they're the ones who actually work for XL. This, oh, is, all, this is all Mud Buddy here. Yeah. So it would have to be Mud Buddy on the back and shallow well, water. Yeah, Mud Buddy on the back and shallow didn't, didn't water. Did he say XL? Yeah. Oh, did, no, back. I said XL. He said shallow water. He oh. said Mud Buddy and shallow water. So maybe it was me. I don't have my glasses he, on. I can't see. He can read. It's all, all right. right. Yeah. Yes, Mud Buddy on the back, shallow water on the front, and it will be a hot ticket item. Pids. Kids are really gone. <laughs> I'm on vacation. Sid's already sent you a picture. For the mud buddy, for sign. the mud buddy sign. Good, I like it. Very good. All right, how are we doing? How? Uh, what's? Uh, We're bouncing kind of around. Are we? Right. All right. Good. Okay. Good. We don't Very have good. a lot of questions today. I know we don't have a lot of questions today. So let me tell you what is going to happen over the next few weeks, because we are fast approaching duck season, which means cooler temperatures. Cooler temperatures. No, which means that we are about to start. Season three, the official start of season three. I don't. We don't talk about it a ton, but we are still currently in two. season two, summer edition is yes. what we call it, amongst ourselves. I guess. But uh, season three is going to kick off here in just a little bit. Um, so we've got a lot of prep work to do for that. Trying to get all our sponsors in line, getting a lot of cool free gear to give away, all that fun stuff, just like we did last year. Um, so over the next few weeks, we're going to be a little. A little hit and miss with with the show. We'll probably be on most of the time. That there may be one week here and there that we may miss, but the shows might be a little uh, shorter. Um, we may not be out on the water as much because we've got we've got a lot of work to do uh, to get ready for that. Um, next week we will be on though. Um, we'll probably be back here next week because. As I always like to promise, I got big stuff, and I hope it all comes I, yeah. together. <laughs> Me too. Because I open my big mouth, but. Uh, <laughs> Um, so that should happen next week, so I want to be on next week, um, so don't miss that. Yes, be here or be square. Be here or be... Square. Do, yeah, square. Be, do, be square. <laughs> awesome. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Um, we'll see you next here. Uh, next here? Next here. We'll see you next here time. You talk about me. <sighs> Actually, it is like a thousand degrees. It's, in it feels like we're out in the water, except <laughs> it's just temperature-wise in your I'm office. Sure how I we need to find really, a cooler office. It's really, really cool in here, and it's generally a perfect temperature. I think it's you. I think you brought all this heat in here or something. No, I think it's somebody. just hot in here. We need Ricky to probably up. wouldn't turned up my heater or something. Yes, but uh, we'll be here next week, and we hope to see you then. Until then, uh, stay fa stay safe. <laughs> That's Stay it. safe. That's all I got. Stay safe out there. We'll see you next time. Peace out. <laughs> oh.